Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Chrono Cross. Today we are in the middle of the Terra Tower. And yeah, just like last episode, we're going to continue through this little dungeon. Sadly, the last dungeon in the game. Oh, that's really, really sad. Rainbow Shell. Okay, we do need those to craft the spect Spectre, Spectral items. Yeah, I'm really trying to avoid those things because they're really not strong at all and don't provide much XP. But, bam, there we go. We found the way we solved this puzzle very, very quickly. I like it. I like it. Oh. Could this be Viper? Where where did we go to? Huh? What's going on? How do we get to Viper Manor? What, 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 what is this foolery? Well, I guess we'll see. We might have to fight some bosses here, boys. Oh, there's Chrono and Luca and all of them peoples. What up, Balthazar? Welcome, or oh, Prophet, welcome. It's good to see you. Finally made it here. I've been expecting you, Serge. Where are we? Is this Viper Manor? This is a space that does not exist, but don't mind that. More importantly, I have something that I must explain to you. Who are you? Oh my, my name is Balthazar. In the ancient magical kingdom of Zeal, I was known as the Sage of Reason. Well, that was up until the Queen of Zeal attempted to harness the power of Lavos. Just Let's just say things got out of control and Lavos created a dimensional vortex that threw me far into the future. There, I seized the opportunity to study the science of the future. I was unable to apply that knowledge I brought from my own era, including magic, which was long lost in the future. Anyway, this led me to make a huge progress in the research of time. Well, that research led to the creation of Chronopolis and the time crash. You might think, you might think I really blew it, but perhaps it was really my finest hour. Anyway, I created a compact time machine that I dubbed the Neo Epoch. I used it to to time warp to this age to learn of Chronopolis and fate's plans and to see how things were turning out. So, by the way, this guy was basically the mastermind, like the mastermind behind all of this. Tear Tower is really a city of the reptites from another dimension's future. It was originally Dinopolis, castle of Azala descendants who achieved an evolution much more intimate with our planet. Dinopolis was drawn into this dimension's past about 10,000 years ago. This was done so that it would serve as a counterbalance against Chronopolis, which Lavos pulled here. Needless to say, a fierce battle ensued. In the end, Chronopolis emerged as the victor, and the Reptite's fortress was sealed away by fate. But more important now is the role of the dragons in all of this. Originally, the whole archipelago of El Nido was known as the Sea of Eden. This was because it was where the dragon god resided, but then fate sealed away the dragon's powers in effect becoming a god itself. Thus, the islands where the new godhead fate existed came to be called the Sea of Eden instead. Perhaps you didn't realize it, but you were used by the dragon gods to eliminate fate. It was not true that the dragon god sealed away the frozen flame. Rather, it's quite the opposite. It was fate that used the power of the flame to seal up the dragon gods. In reality, the dragon gods are in opposition to man, while the fate itself was actually the protector of humanity. The dragon gods were originally a singular plasma life form, a living accumulation of the planet's energy. Originally, it was a biological machine used to control the powers of nature in the future society of the reptites. In order to control the natural, the natural energy itself, fate divided the one dragon entity into six weaker plasma life forms and scattered them across the land and sealed them away. Their dragon-like appearances are just disguises, temporary, temporary forms they take so that they can appear in this dimension. But all that changed when fate was vanquished and its power hold was eliminated. At that moment, the seven dragon gods who have been rendered almost powerless and forgotten traveled across the dimensions to reunite into a single en entity. Seven dragons. I thought there were only six. There were six dragons you knew of and one more hidden dragon you didn't. Like the second moon that once was lost, but later was found. Although the same planet, my world didn't have two moons. Look up at the night sky now, and you will see seven celestial bodies. Five stars and two moons. Five brother stars that correspond to the five colored dragons, ruling like gods over the night skies. One moon that corresponds to the white dragon, and another darker, daughter moon to counterbalance them. The fire dragon, the water dragon, the green dragon, the earth dragon, the black dragon, the sky dragon, and one more, the final dragon. The Dark Moon Dragon, which is the one who was to work free the other dragons from their bondage by fate. 
the child the others created on the night of the electrical storm that temporarily caused fate to loosen its hold on them. I believe you know her as Harley. So yes, I think I said this before, but Harley is actually a dragon. She was helping the dragons get their th things in order. Unbelievable. The dragon gods were the essence of nature on this planet. Perhaps we can consider what's happening as ours, as our plan is vengeance on us to finally sweep away the unwanted humans from the face of this blue planet. First it was fate, now it's the planet. Or vice versa, but either way you look at it, now the, now the time to set things, now it's the time to set, set things right. The future of mankind, the destiny of this planet, everything depends on the next battle you will fight. But unfortunately, the time for us to part has come. Hey mister, is that the Chrono Cross you guys have there? The Chrono Cross, the melody and harmony. It has the power to cross space and time and unify people's thoughts and feelings. It has the power to transfer memories. By using it as an element, it has the power to draw on the sounds of the six colored elements to produce a healing harmony. It has the power to combine the sounds of the world into one melody. I'm sure we'll meet again soon in one time period or another, but careful now and good luck. This next fight is hard. It is a hard fight in general. I don't think it's the hardest in the game. I'm going to stick to my uh, vote that Dario is the hardest fight in the game. Unless you come at him really late game. In my opinion, he is the hardest. But let's go. Oh, the door just disappeared. I love that. But please give me a save point. Uh, uh. Uh, roll, give me a save point, my dudes. Okay, we might not have a save point. Let's make sure all of us are full health. We might just have to play uber safe on this one. There has to be a save point, though. Come on, we're not gonna fight. Don't. Oh my gosh. Maybe this guy. Maybe if we kill him, we'll be that. He'll become a save point. So let's do this. Return our trees. Give back our green forests, bro. How about you give me back my gold that you own? That uh, was terrible. Uh, Alright, let's beat this guy up. Give him a little bit of a, a thumping. Good misses, good misses. Oh, man, I hit hard. Let me move this over here a bit. There we go. We're gonna thump this guy, my dudes. Actually, Orla should hit this guy pretty hard. Info scope. That's fine, my dude. He can get the info on all of us. Doesn't really help him out. I wonder if Orla... Sh okay, maybe she doesn't hit him that hard. Bushwhacker, that really does nothing. Actually, it might hurt her, though. Four. Alright, my dudes. Bush Basher. Okay, this one hurts a little bit more. Arrow Saucer. This dude's just hitting, hitting Orla with all of the green elements. Oh, he's just hitting her with all of them. What a guy. But what we're gonna do is... Okay, okay, he's just gonna heal himself. Shouldn't be that much. Ooh, 500. That's actually a decent amount of health. Even though we basically just took it in one... <laughs> in one shot, we took all his health away. Let's make sure to heal ourselves. I don't want to get in some weird position where Orla dies... Orla is one of the members that is holding a revive. Omega Green. Okay, that was good. I don't know if this hits Orla. Orla. Oh, that hit hit pretty hard. Okay, what we're gonna have to do? I'm gonna go ahead and attack. No, I'm not. I'm gonna heal. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, heal it up. Only problem is, kid is so low. This probably won't fully heal. Oh, okay. Well, apparently surges. A devil light healing, so that healed quite a bit. Okay, and he's gonna go for kid. Ugh. Those are some tough hits. Let's try to get at least this guy low. Okay, he's low. Sanja. Oh, that's not good. That is the summon for the green element. This is gonna kill Orla for. This is gonna kill everybody but Surge, basically. Whoa. Okay, maybe not. Okay. 
If we can get... Uh, I was going to say, if we can get some good hits, we can basically win right here. But no. Uh, in good old Surge fashion, he doesn't like to hit his shots at the end of fights. So we're going to go ahead and play it safe and do a little bit of healing. Carnivore. So we've gone up against this move before at uh, the Green Dragon. Oh. Seriously, once again he was below 34 health? Man, I could have just hit him one more time. That's... Uh, once again. Alright, but there goes the green guy. There he goes. Disappearing into the wind. Bam, bam, bam. Make sure to heal everybody up. Oh, we're poisoned. Let's make sure to use antidote. Get that sickness out of here. Where do we? Oh, I guess we can just click on this, right? Yeah. So this is the tele. This is the type of teleporter that was used at Mount Pyre. We kind of just go up. Oh, and there's a safe point. Thank you. Oh boy, this is gonna be a lot of fun. So. We have to go left and right. Oh, I was like, hello? I'm not moving. Surge, up there. That is where we must go. That must be the summit. Look, these two beams coming from either side. I wonder if they act as some sign of sealing device. Indeed, they do. On the left and right are two bosses. And if we get past them, those things will open up. So let's go ahead and beat these two bosses. Go ahead and bum rush right in there. Take what is ours. And go ahead and fight that dragon. Okay, once again, I'm going to be avoiding these stupid cupid things. I don't feel like fighting them. I got no time for this. No time for this. Yeah, and he should be right here, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Or at least I think there's a boss fight. Yes, okay, there- yeah, we get teleported oddly far away for some reason. Alright, boys, let's go ahead and beat it up. Now, these bosses are fairly tough. They're not- they're not anything to take lightly. They are tough. So, we're not gonna be able to just play around. We're gonna have to actually battle for realsies. For realsies, for realsies. I forgot to check what in what color he is. Man. Okay, so he's black. Dude, Surge hits hard. This might kill Surge. He's white. And this... I'm really hoping it doesn't. This might hit him pretty hard, though. Wow, that hit like... That hit literally like six above. That is so tilting. Alright, well, let's go ahead and revive him. That literally hit like six above his HP. If he was wearing a gold earring, he would have survived it. That's kind of tilting a little bit. Nice hit. Nostrum. Okay, that's only going to heal about 200. But I'm pretty sure he's going to do that multiple times. No, he won't. Okay. Nice, dude. Surge is hitting so hard. It's beautiful. Uh, let's go ahead and use a heal all. I know it's literally only Surge that's in bad shape. But I do want to make sure he don't die, especially because he is the most vulnerable right now. Let's go to Orla. Orla hits a bit harder. Okay, come on. Come on. Don't be missing all your shots. All right, let's see how hard, did he, how hard he hits. Okay, that's not that bad. It also depends on how many times he hits. Ugh. All right, bro, 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 bro. Stop, stop, stop. Chill out. All right, let's go ahead and get a few shots. Now, we'll use heal on her. Oh, wait, okay. Well, I was going to use heal on her, but then apparently not anymore. Um, he has a high chance of using Omega Black. Is he dead? Oh, he's dead. Never mind. Man, Surge hits super hard. It's unbelievable. These bosses are supposed to be tough, but Surge is just, like, just plowing through them, man. Let's go ahead and make sure to heal. Surge is straight plowing through them. So there goes one of the beams. Bam. 
Now we just gotta go ahead and get the other beam. Can we? Okay, let's let's obviously look here. Can we get anything? Nope, doesn't look like it. All right, let's head back, and we're gonna do the other one. And I think this other fight should be almost as quick. But man, okay, actually it won't be as quick. Uh, Surge is obviously white innate. That thing was black, so of course Surge was gonna hit uber hard against him. Uh, this next one will not be black. If it was, that'd be really weird to have two black innate bosses in a row. Especially the game knowing that we're most likely going to have Surge. But it should be an easy fight either way. A longer but easier fight. And just in case something spooky happens, I will say one more time. Uh, better to be safe than sorry. Let's go ahead and do a quick save up in here. I've kind of gotten good at saving really quickly. We can just kind of run back out. I'm not going to even cut for that. Let's see what's going on with this boss. Is there like wind in this one? Alright guys, so we are able to dodge these guys. We just gotta, we gotta kind of like dodge the wind. But there we go. Alright, no, no problemo. I did have to kill one of them, but that's just because I got tired of them and I wanted them dead. But let's try it over here. And our next boss will be right over around this corner. So this guy should be a white innate. And we should be able to kill this guy easily enough. Um, he's not going to kill Surge right away, and Surge is my hardest hitter. So basically, we're going to have a lot of constant pressure on him. Which is going to be nice. Let's see how hard Surge hits. Okay, once again, not as hard, but pretty hard. 200 is pretty good. And I do not have any black innates on me, but I'm not going to need them. This guy isn't going to kill anybody too quickly, except... And kids' defenses are low. He keeps hitting like that. He's going to kill her. Oh, okay. So right before she died, he stopped hitting. It's pretty good. So let's go ahead and try to get another hit in. And use a heal all. This won't heal her to full, but it'll heal her pretty darn close. And even if she dies, she's the only member without a revive on. So we'll just go ahead and revive her up. You know what? I'm going to hit with Surge first since he's the hardest hitter. I'm just going to hope he doesn't miss. Okay, 300. That's pretty good. Actually, 400. Uh, let's go back to Orla. I'm just going to go lucky with the threes. Holy healing. Okay, how much will this heal him? Oh, 800. That's a good bit. That's a little bit annoying. I mean, it doesn't really do anything for him. I'll take, I'll take all that healing back. But that's just kind of... Yeah, basically his healing is gone right there. But I don't know how many times he's going to use that. That might get really annoying if he uses it multiple times. Magnify. Okay, so all elements have a 1.5 increase. Omega White. Who's he going to hit? Okay, this should not hit him, like, at all. Surge is a White innate, so although this is a big move, it'll definitely hurt him for a couple hundred. But this shouldn't kill him because it's the same color. Yeah, so that was pretty close to killing him, but um, not close enough. Let's go ahead and just use a heal all. Give Surge a little bit of health. If he gets hit with that again, he's definitely going to need some health. Okay, now let's go back to Surge. Let's try to hit two threes. Good shots. And this guy's low. And you know what? Just... Just to be safe, I'm going to heal once again. Just for the sake of being safe. Anyway, the guy is probably going to use a holy healing. So, I want to make sure I'll be able to survive for at least a couple rounds for sure. Meteor shower. Okay, that's not going to hit too bad. It might hit Orla pretty hard, maybe. I think she has, I think she has low magic defense. I think. Yeah, okay, I guess I hit her and Kid like about the same. Let's see. Is it dead? Yeah, it's dead. Okay. Not too hard of a battle. Not too hard. Like I said earlier, it took a little bit longer than the black one just because Surge doesn't hit as hard. With the black one, he ended up hitting like 800s. This one, he hit only about 400s. It took about double the time, but nonetheless, a fairly easy fight. Bam. And we got Ultra Nova, which is like a really good element. 
So bam, there goes the second beam, and we should be able to go up into the tower now. Here's what I'm gonna do, guys, real quick. I'm gonna turn on my light. I did this like a couple episodes ago. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing it again one more time. Just turning on my light. There we go. All right, let's continue. Oh, I missed the platform. Come on, David. And we're going to be defeating this next boss is, I think, the final boss of, like, the dungeon in general. So, we're going to for sure save it up a bit. And, yeah, this next boss fight should be a good one. Although, we do got to get past these things. Which are uber annoying. Just let me pass. No! Alright, everybody. So, I did a quick save. Now let's go ahead and enter what I think is the final boss room, if I'm correct. I think this is the final boss room. No, it's not. We got one more to defeat. Disrespecting the origins of life. Mother C suffers. You must pay the price. Alright, bro. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. I should be able to defeat this thing quite quickly. Now, uh, this one's the blue innate. Kid is red, but Kid doesn't hit very hard, so I'm not going to really depend on her. I'm just going to depend on hitting my own shots here. Vigora. He's basically just going to buff himself up for no apparent reason. Bro, you're going to be dead in the turn. Just stop. Let, let me kill you. Nice, we get, a, we get hit a good one there. Hit a bunch of quick attacks. Bam. Okay, so he guy hits pretty hard. Jeez, okay, chill. Chill, my dude, chill. Let's go ahead and go with Surge. Can we hit... Oh. Man, he didn't... Mm, he didn't let me hit, hit him again. 400, that's... Quite a bit, but... It's basically how much we hit in one shot. Real quick, just for the sake of Orla, we're gonna go ahead and heal. I don't want her to die. I want her to get the XP. So she'll be stronger for the next fight. Okay, good hit. Omega Blue. If he hits... Oh, this might kill her. Yeah, she's dead. That's fine, though. We can... Let's go ahead and revive her. Bam. She's revived. Look at that. Wham. Wham. And then he hits me with an icicle, bro. Why you gotta hit me with an icicle? Is he gonna hit Kid again? You got. I was gonna say, if that hits Kid, she's dead. That wouldn't be cool. Uh, let's go ahead and just use a heal all, I guess. Make sure she don't die. There we go. One hit. Two hit. Aw, oh, come on. Oh, okay, the guy's dead. Okay, cool. Nicely done, nicely done. So yeah, these bosses really aren't hard here. I don't know if they're supposed to be or they're supposed like they were specifically made to be fairly easy, but we're breezing through these. Left and right, left and right. Oh, well, we've defeated all the colors, I think. Green, blue, and then the black and white ones. There we go, and I think that is the final destination. Now, before, I'm going to go save real quickly. And teleport up to the final room, and I swear, guys, this time it truly is the final room. I know it 100%. Because we've defeated the six elemental bosses. So now we are finally 100% sure we're going to the final room. So let's go see. And by the way, you guys should probably know what the final boss for this is. I think it's fairly obvious. We're at the Dragon Temple place. We fought all of the elements. We watched a cutscene a couple episodes ago where the dragons became one. So if you put two and two together, arg. 
Help. Stop it. Bro, who are we trying to help? Kill me. Okay, bro, I'm trying. Welcome. Okay. Welcome. Hmm? Welcome, humans. Okay, I was like, well? And then come? Like, it doesn't really make... Those who know the turn in the green also know the pleasure of pain and destruction. Therefore, all that passed through here must be prepared to share the burden that I carry. Let's do this. Y'all should know who this is. Y'all should know. So this is the true frozen flame. Hold on, don't touch it. So that is the actual frozen flame, guys. That's so cool. Is everyone okay? Everyone should be okay. Bugger you. Oh, I moved it. Us humans ain't gonna let you have your way any longer. Come, show you your bloody self. Hey, there's my boy, Mr. Dragon. And again, my I said this in one of the episodes. My biggest complaint about the game is literally that they made the dragon look so dumb. How can you add six cool dragons together and make that thing? Come on, you gotta make them look cooler. In order to survive all living things in this world, fight desperately and devour things they defeat. One must kill other living things in order to survive must destroy another world in order to allow one's own world to continue the wounded in turn wound and torment those weaker than they themselves are there are only the killers and the killed the sinners who are judged and the victims that do the judging what meaning is there to such a world whether there's meaning to our lives or not, we still go on living, you know. You got no right to deny that. I shall cleanse this blue planet of you filthy humans once and for all. Alright, bro, let's get started. Alright, let's do this. Now, I'm not going to deny this is a hard fight. It's not an easy fight, not like the other ones. But I believe that we'll get through it. Bum, 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 bum. And this hype music will get us through it. All we gotta do is not miss our shots. Alright. Oh, he's like dive bombing us. Okay, he only did about 100. Not too bad. What color is he right now? Okay, right now he's white. Back to Orla. Okay, well it doesn't hit super hard, but it's hard enough. Oh, yeah, Surge's got to really not miss. What is he going to do this time? Oh, he's going to hit us all again, ain't he? Yeah, well, that's fine. That's actually a good thing. I wanted to heal all, but I didn't want to heal only for 100. Now they did it for 200. That is actually perfect for a heal all. So I'm actually glad that I waited right there. That actually helped us. They gave me basically like one extra turn with Orla. Oh, I missed one with her. Let's go to Surge. Good hits from Surge. He's gonna hit with, oh, 40, that's not even that bad. Depends how many times he hits though. Okay. Um. You know what, let's go to Kid. Let's just go ahead and use a heal all. Make sure Orla. Actually, Kid needs some health anyway. Actually, so that's fine. Let's go back to Orla. Orla, Orla hits pretty hard, actually, so. We can use her. Oh no, I meant to go with Surge. Okay, I'm gonna need Surge to hit a sh. You know what? I'm not gonna even go for the three. I'm too scared. And anyway, I think. Okay. So, I think how this basketball works. 
he's basically gonna rotate through each of the elements. So first he started off as white. Now he's gonna go to a different element. Okay, so now we're in the yellow element. Let's try to get some hits in. And we hit a little bit harder, it seems, in this element. So that's good. Because, of course, white doesn't hit white. And Surge was white against white. So now he's going to hit a little bit harder. Hit that three. Good stuff. Love it when I hit my threes. Uplift. That really shouldn't hurt that much. Uh, only about... Yeah, it's eight. Eight damage. Fireball. Uh, this shouldn't hurt much. Yeah, actually, it'll hurt a little bit more. Just because Orla is blue. Hitting her with red hurts a little bit more than yellow. Shouldn't do more than 10 though, yeah. Bushwhacker. That shouldn't hurt too badly either. Not more than 15. Not even 1 actually. Bam. I'm just going to go for 2 because I'm really not confident in the 3s anymore. Aqua Beam. Why is he using all of these when he's yellow? That don't make no sense. That don't make no sense. Gravity Blow. Okay, that shouldn't hit too hard. Uh, it hit Surge, though. Okay, yeah, it's not gonna hit him too hard. I wonder, what is the order for the Chrono Cross? Seems like he's using spells in a certain order. What is the... I'm gonna look it up real quick. Okay, guys, so this is weird. The element order on screen is right for the Chrono Cross. I don't know what this is going to do. You know what? Let's just try it. I, I want to know what it does, honestly. What does it do? Okay, maybe it just does nothing. Alright, never mind then. Let's just continue with the fight. Forget that I said anything. But it looks like we're going into the next phase here. Good stuff, good stuff. What is the next phase? Looks like we're in fire, right? Looks like it. Try to hit. Okay, good. We hit it. Let's go with Surge. Let's just try to hit two threes. Ah, oh, missed one. Hit the other one, though, which is good. Let's go to Kid. Let's try to get a couple Magma Bomb. Okay, that's not going to hurt too much. Yeah, it's not going to hurt too much. So then, no, he's going to keep using... He's just going to keep using Magic Elements. This is going to take forever. Bam. Alright, uh... Good with Orla. Ah, right, come on, bro. Dude, Orla, man. How can you miss that many? Maybe he just has really high evade in this form or something. I don't know. But either way, let's go hit him a few times. Hell Soul. Ah, come on, please don't kill her. Don't kill her, don't kill her, don't kill her. That's such like a weird... Come on. Okay, she seems still alive. That's good. Okay, let's go back to Orla. Bam. And let's use... Punch Drunk, right? He's red, so... Punch Drunk should do a little bit of damage. And it's just kind of a funny move that Orla's drunk. You just give him a good old whack. 400, that's a pretty good hit, actually. And that'll take us into the next one. Okay, that's pretty good, actually. I didn't realize that he was that low already. I did not realize he was that low. Alright, now we're at the green place. That's good. Let's just go for two threes. Nice. Ooh, almost a thousand damage straight away. That's good. Okay, and even red hits her two. Red? Why do I call her red? Kid. I mean, kid hit her two threes. Now, this should hurt a little bit. 
This should hurt a little bit. Ooh. A little bit more. It's a lot more than a little bit. Um, back to Surge. Let's go ahead and do a little, a little bit of that heal all. Want to make sure none of us really die. At least not yet. And that should heal us for full. Yep. Because it's so far along the ability tree, that does quite a bit. Miss. Miss. Bro, how do you miss 280s? This game is busted. Will that take us into the next element? It, it will. No, it won't. <laughs> I thought he was going into the next element. He Really, he was just turning around and whack us with his tail. Alright, come on, bro. I'm gonna beat you up. Okay, and that will take us into the next element. Let's see, where are we going next? Where is our next destination? Alright, looks like we're going to blue. Uh, let's go ahead and... Let's just use heal. Just because I really have nothing to, no, nothing else to do since so Surge isn't ready to attack. We're just going to use a little heal real quick. Make sure. I don't know his dad. Let's go ahead and use maybe a couple small attacks. Okay, he missed one of them. That's cool. I hit a couple. Orla's going to be fairly weak in this one. Just because of the fact that she's also blue innate. Okay, so he's going to hit us with that uh, AoE attack. Doesn't it too hard? Let's go ahead and... Oh, nope, I meant to attack. Let's go with the two. Okay. Okay, nice, nice. I'm just going to hit that other two, actually. It's going to push that damage real quickly. Okay. Two good hits. Deluge. Oh, no. This might kill two of us. No. Good. No death. I like it. No death. I, I, I was literally almost 100% sure that I was going to kill Kid. So I am happy about that. This should take us to the next one. Two good hits like that. Oh, wow, really? That doesn't take us to the next one. Okay, well, he was under 60 health. Alright, time to go to the next element. What's the next element? Is it... We already went through green, yellow, red, blue. All we need is black and white. And we already did black in the beginning where are we now oh did we did we not what color is he oh wait, now he's black okay so we didn't do black so this should be the last one um let's go ahead and attack with orla let's just only do let's only do a two and then go attack with surge hit please nice Ah, oh, two solid hits and just for safety, let's use a heal all. I don't want this guy to use like a huge move and wipe out. Basically only kid. But you know what? Better safe than sorry. Free fall. Okay. This shouldn't kill her. But that did do quite a bit. Maybe I could have waited one for healing, but oh well. If Orla does at this point, we do have a revive. Hit two. Nice. And then let's just use heal. Uh, just for Orla's sake. Uh, that's not what I meant. Let's use heal. Just so Orla doesn't get even killed by his like physical attacks. I want to make sure. Holy light. Okay, this shouldn't hurt that bad actually. It will probably do 100 or 2 to each one. Not even that. Okay, good stuff back to surge oh oh he did hit it good oh do we have another element I thought that was unless we're going to like a chrono cross element which I never heard of let's see where are we going now or are we fighting like the real dragon okay we're back in the palace so this must be his last form let's just go ahead and defend with him this must be his last form though Okay, miss. Let's just defend with her. And go... Actually, you know what? We'll attack with Surge. I'm not gonna go hard with the two attacks. I'm just gonna... Try to go slow here. Alright. Looks like he's going with his AoE attack. 
no problemo. We'll just come to kid. There's another heal all. Just in case. Just in case. Ah, missed a shot. Let's go to Surge. Come on, hit. Good, good, good. And then... Wait. Let me, what element is this? Oh, it's white. Okay. Let's so say we could use his special ability, but he's white, so we're not going to do that. Yeah, let's just hit in a few attacks with Kid. Why not? Ultra Nova. This might suck a little bit. Just a little bit. This is a big attack. It'll kill Kid, probably. Oh! She survived with 50... Oh, my God. That is way too close. Let's, let's hit up a cure-all. This should cure us a lot, actually. Yeah, 500. That is back up to full for all of us. That's some good stuff. I'm just gonna hit a 2. Of course, I mean, hit, hit... I wasn't confident in the 3, and I still missed. Okay, uh... Let's try to hit 1. Okay. Hit another one. Good. Okay, he's gonna turn around and try to show off his butt. So that's interesting. Alright, come on, my guy. I'm just gonna try to get a few hits, just for giggles. I don't think this guy's gonna finish this off. Let's, you know what? Let's just go for two threes. Damn, is that it? I think that is it. Man. The dragons weren't as tough as I thought they would be, man. I guess this game is getting easier and easier every time I play it, because that really... Man, wasn't hard at all. None of us even died once. I even, I even played dumb most of the time, and we still didn't die. How shall I... Now I shall truly awaken again. This too is destiny. <gasps> is he not dead? Where is he? That thing, the Dragon God is only a quasi-existence, a temporary form that the real Dragon God uses in order to appear within this dimension. The actual Dragon God was consumed long ago in the distant past, integrated by the entity known as Lavos in the time on the other side of the dimensional darkness. The frozen flame is a splinter from the extraterrestrial being Lavos, the one who connected with the frozen flame in effect links with Lavos himself. As the mediator between Lavos and living things, the one will gain extraordinary powers by binding with the new seed of destruction, the Devourer of Time. <clears throat> what in blazes is the Devourer of Time? Now go to the place where this, where time became divided and weave the threads of time together again. Chrono Trigger. The Devourer of Time is a new life form, born out of the fusion of the life form from this planet with Lavos, who nests on the far side of the dimensional void. In the far off future, when the fusion becomes complete, it will awaken. And then the devourer of time will begin to consume all time space continua, despair and hatred, to return all things to nothingness. That is what it desires. Here, take this with you. Surge received the time egg. Hey, we heard about that one. The time egg will enable you to travel beyond space time. The world is in your hands. Go release the life that is imprisoned. Oh, the place is flooding. We gotta get out. Like, now. Can we, like, uh, run? Please? I mean, I guess we could just jump off the terror tower, right? I mean, the place is... Wait. I don't know what's happening. Tell me. Cripsy, what? Oh, Cripey. <laughs> this place is going to crumble to pieces. Alright, Sergi, let's go. Shaky, shaky, shake. And there goes the terror tower. I really don't. Oh, well, okay. I was say I really don't know why defeating the dragon just automatically place makes this place fall apart. 
But I guess we saw the dragon kind of dip into the middle, so that maybe broke it. I don't know. I don't know if it's a thing you can break a tower, but yeah. Ooh, that's that's colorful. Oh, it's growing wings. Okay, so uh, the, the thing is a giant bird. No idea why it does that. No idea. But you know what? It looks sick. That's the Terror Tower's final true form. And then we're all the same. Everyone dreams of being greater and more powerful. We've come this far. All that remains is to defeat the Time Devourer. Once we wipe the Devourer of Time off the face of this, it's all over. Hopefully everything will go back to normal again. You're wrong. Things won't ever go back to the way they were. Destiny, fate is dead. From now on, us humans have to choose our own way in life. We also have to take responsibility for the choices we make. And something's got to be done about... The way we're gonna go on hurting and killing one another. We've gotta settle our differences once and for all. Listen, what's really important now is what we do. The issue ain't whether we not defeat the bastard or not. I'm afraid that, depending on how we go about it, we could lose out on gaining something real precious. So the issue is the way we fight it. So where on earth is the real devourer of time? My guess is the key to finding it lies at the beach. That's where this whole thing started. It's also probably where this whole thing will end. And Kid is right. That's where we're going to be heading to next. So, guys. Sadly to say. Next episode. Will be our last episode. Oh, oops. I didn't mean to go to status. So, next episode will be our last episode. Uh, what do we need? Oh, yeah. We need medicine. So, guys. One thing I probably should add is. This game does have multiple endings. Basically, the two that we could get now because we skipped a lot of the other endings. The good ending, the bad ending. Bad ending, we kill the Time Devourer, and basically everything sucks. I'm not going to go through that ending. We are going to go through the painstaking of finishing it the good way because I do want the good ending. But we will do that next episode, guys. So the next episode is the final episode, guys. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as a personal channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.